Hey there guys, Strings here, a casual from Gamer here once again, bringing you more of Mega Timber Month, where on September Month Long we will be doing classic Mega Man Let's Plays, and speaking of classic Mega Man, welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 2. Last time we played, we just defeated Bubble Man and got his weapon, the Bubble Lead. Now, we only have one more Robot Master left, and that is going to be Heat Man. And his stage is so-so. It does have some spots where you can kill yourself automatically, but eh, other than that, it's not that long. And basically, as you've seen, or as you will see, you'll see these gaps here, which go into lava. Do try to avoid them, because they will kill you instantly. And also, those Crusher guys are back, so yeah. I'm gonna definitely avoid those things. And these, uh... Fun little guys. Oh god. That was not good. Basically, if you can, which we're failing at right now. There we go. If you get three of them on screen, no more rules or spill spawn, and that, you want to move slowly across these and keep those guys with you, so that way, no more will spawn right in front of you and try to block your path. In other words, they can, they can knock you right into the lava, which will be a bad thing. Also, don't fall in lava, because, yeah, that'll be bad. So it might take a little bit longer to get through the stage, but it's worth it without, so you don't have to worry about the annoyances. Of course, you could use the weapons to do anything. But we're at the end of the, that thing, so we can kind of just speed right across on here. But yeah, at the bottom of the pit, you don't want to just go real fast, because yeah. Now we have these spinner bouncer thingies, I don't know what they're really called still. But it's kind of a tight corridor. Oh, I got made, made the jump that time. But yeah, it's not too bad. And now we have another one of those, but in, also we have... Oops. Well, that was not smart. We also have our first taste of the invisible blocks. Oh, God. I hate the time when I'm not... Ow. There we go. There's a little problem there. And now we're back with these things. So, yeah. There we go. Kind of them. There we go. Jump up here. Red. Oh, no. Nah. I had to make an exception for that because I got I cannot get my timing right on that jumping. Uh, oh, that was close. I could have died there. <laughs> okay, now I get to show off the really good use for the crash bombs. Oops. Well, that's okay. Right. When those go off, basically they will destroy the walls. Wow, I don't know if I glitch off to the side. But as I said, when they explode, they will destroy the wall. Sometimes the walls do drop items for you to grab, so that's kind of it's also useful, and it helps you get past these areas faster. This one here, I want to make sure you're running, so that way you don't fall to your death. And I think yep, we're good from here, so we can just run on across. Do watch out for that spine thing right there. And right here is a long, long progress of. Uh, invisible blocks. If you want, but if you want dodging, is basically use the number two weapon and just right across. Now, if you go through the long process, I don't know if you can use the number two weapon again and all that stuff by then. But you can get that life up, and that way you can get a life. But we're good on life, so we don't need them. We don't need it. I should say. <laughs> so use our Buster, and yeah. Annoying freaking sniper Joe on a machine being lazy. Oh, stupid. Okay. And after we defeat that thing, basically we're already at Heatman. Like I said, not a really long stage. And Heatman's weakness is the bubble lead. Now he is when with the bubble lead, you can get him to a really easy pattern after he hits you or he fires the first shot. Sometimes it's hard to dodge that first shot of his. Like so. Oh, you pest. Oh well. He'll die this time, for sure. <laughs> Anywho. Okay, let us try this again. Uh, bad, bad, bad. <laughs> Might have helped if I actually got this stupid weapon first. There we go. Oh, you. Now, when he's like, when he has that fire around him, you cannot hit him, so he's invulnerable. 
Uh, and he also likes to have a little delay on his teleporting. Die. There we go. <laughs> Uh, he is he can be quite a thing at times, but anyway, we have defeated him and we're now gonna get the last robot master weapon that we will shall receive. H get equipped with Atomic Fire. It isn't that bad, it has yeah, so it basically it's usually uh, sp pillars of fire like what he used to and also we get a another message from Dark Delight. Item number one Completed. Get your weapons ready. So yes, we have now gotten our last item weapon as well. So yeah, that's gonna come in handy. And also, when we do the Wily stages next, I will try to show the atomic fire. And since he will be up next, and I cannot go stage select without going to him, I'm going to here. So with that, I hope you enjoy enjoying the series so far. Wow. As well as we'll continue to watch. So until then, I'm Strange Zero. And I shall see you guys next time when we take on Wiley's.